Hey everybody, and welcome to another video tutorial from Brushezy. I'm Eric Wallace, and today I'm going to show you how to download and install Photoshop brushes. So let's get started. First of all, you've already found the best place to easily find thousands of Photoshop brushes and patterns online right at Brushezy. On the home page, you'll notice all the brushes and patterns that have been recently added to the site. However, we're going to go to the Brushes tab to look for our particular brush. Let me give you some tips and pointers on how to navigate through Brushezy. If you look over here on the right side of your screen, you'll see these filter options. You can choose different categories based on the brush set that you're looking for. I like Grunge set, so I'm going to click on Grunge. If you're using a Photoshop version that's lower than CS3, you might want to indicate that version here just to make sure the brushes are compatible. We're using Photoshop CS4, and since brushes are backwards compatible, I'm going to choose CS3. You can also use the Sort By filter to view brushes based on how many times they were downloaded, by how many comments they have, by their rating, or by how long they've been on Brusheasy. We're going to sort them by downloads to find the most popular grunge brushes for CS3. Then we're going to click Filter. On the results page, you see all the brushes that met our criteria. I like the Cracks brush set, so I'm going to click on that. You'll notice on the results page that we get some information about the brush set, such as how many times it was downloaded and who the artist was. And if we click on the artist, we can be taken to their website. Based on all the reviews, this brush set looks to be pretty good, but we're going to click the preview button to get a sneak peek of all the brushes included in the set. There they are. Now, after previewing the brush set, we might consider making a donation to the artist by clicking the donate button. Artists sometimes spend a long time making these free brush sets, so consider a donation. Now let's click the download button and download the brush set. There we go. Now we need to unzip the file. If you're using Mac, go to your Downloads folder and double-click on the zip file. That will automatically unzip it. Then look for the ABR file. That's the file where the brushes are stored. If you're using Windows, you can right-click Extract All on the file that we downloaded and go through the wizard to unzip the file. Now, some of you may know that there are several ways to install brushes into Photoshop, using the Brush Preset Manager or even just double-clicking on the ABR file. However, both of those options just add the brush set to Photoshop temporarily, and there's no way to turn on or off particular brush sets. It's also a good idea to have a copy of all the original ABR files in case you want to install the brush sets onto different versions of Photoshop or different computers. In the technique we're going to use today, we get to take advantage of all of this. So the next step is to copy the ABR file into Photoshop's Brushes Preset folder. This folder is buried about four folders deep. Go to your Applications folder, look for the Photoshop folder, then look for the Presets folder, then you'll see the Brushes folder. Then we just need to drag the ABR file into the Brushes folder. If you're using Windows, this folder is located on your hard drive under your Program Files folder, under the Adobe folder, in the Photoshop folder, in the Presets folder. Again, just copy the ABR file right into the Brushes folder. Now we need to activate the brushes we installed into Photoshop so we can use them. We're going to click on the Brush tool, and then the Brush Selector menu. Look over here, do you see this little right arrow? If you click on that arrow, you'll actually get a drop-down menu of all the brushes that we've installed. I'm going to choose the pack that we just installed and append it to the list of brush presets found in this drop-down menu so they're easily accessible. Remember, if a brush is too big, you can always use the master diameter to control each and every brush size. And there you have it. Now you know how to download and install Photoshop brushes. I'm Eric Wallace, and until next time, take it easy.